So welcome everybody to Orange Art Gallery. My name is Ingrid and I'm here with the artist Lorena Zeraldo. Um, we're going to give a tour of the show We Meet Again, which is what the Queen actually had said, I believe, at the beginning of the pandemic. Totally. So, yes, I think that's really a, a fitting title. Yes. Um, yeah, we're going to tour the show and uh, Lorena's going to give us uh, her thoughts on some of the works. So it's a spectacular show. Let's uh, let's have a tour. Let's and let's hope COVID doesn't keep everyone away. Yes. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> So Lorena, this, uh, this was an obvious piece, the Mona Lisa, to go in the center of the exhibition. Um, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, what inspired you to do Mona Lisa? Well, I've always wanted to paint Mona Lisa, and I just thought that this was the, the perfect time because she would be someone that would miss, be missing people. No one would be visiting her, and so I thought it was kind of nice to put her back in the gallery. And, uh, and I, you know, I didn't go crazy. I kind of stuck to not really an old-fashioned way of painting, but it is you know softer and more muted, but has that Zeraldo feel. So I mean, I think there'll be more Monas, but I'm um, I'm pretty happy with her. Really happy. With her. I love the of course the smile. It's all about her smile. Yes, I exactly. Think, um, I love the way you apply your technique uh, to her. It really, really works. Yeah. I, um, me too. I'm, I'm really um, yeah, pretty happy with Mona Lisa and I think she's great beside the Queen who's also seated, ready to see people at some point. And um, usually, I, you know, I've only usually done the face of the Queen, so it's kind of nice to have her seated, ready to meet her, her people. And this and piece is a fun piece. So this one makes me feel like a little bit in the olden days, having cocktails, <laughs> yeah. enjoying the night when people could gather it's, safely. And uh, well, you nailed it. Um, I, you know, it was a cocktail party. The theme was 1959, and um, martinis and cocktails were, you know, making their rounds. So it was. Um, I took a few photos, and um, you know, chose that one to work with. And, uh, yeah, good times. Yeah. So, you know, from the interior, we go outside, which is kind of nice. Um, I, I, I like landscapes, but I like people in landscapes. And uh, I just like the, the feeling of, you know. Sitting. I love the way you cleverly balance the piece. I know. Oh, and all those things take time. I mean, it, it looks seems so obvious cool. when you see it, but uh, yeah. when you start with a blank canvas, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool. And you can always keep going, but sometimes it's just good to Gotta know when to start. Yeah, exactly. And this one is one that was also, she was in the seascape, but her, I, I wasn't happy. And so at some point I just went in and, and just painted, which is, you know, I love paint. And I thought, why don't I just use paint? And, and I'm much happier with her. Yeah, I love the little, I love the drawing. Yeah. Like I find that is kind of needed to finish the piece. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah. it's like I'm drawing this uh, yeah you're so right you know it's those little things and uh, anyway yeah. and in reality yeah you really see you really caked on the uh, paint lots of texture yeah. in this piece. and she could be in a gallery you know basically facing a painting um, she good. could be a painting 
whatever, you know, it's whatever people want, really. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And, and I wanted with this exhibition, usually a more thematic, but I really did want it um, a painting, a painting, a painting. So there's, I don't know, I just felt that that was appropriate at this time. And she, I saw a photo, I've never watched down, I think it's called Downtown Abbey. There's a group of people, just three, at dinner, and I just zeroed in on her. Um, so I think it has that British feeling. Maybe not, but um, for me it did, and it's called the cuppa, you know, the British cup of tea kind of thing. But again, what I love is just her combination of colors. Uh, Lorna's uh, known for her rich palette, and uh, the combination of the purples, a little of the yellows, it's uh, spectacular. But I also love how you use black. Black is uh, always in your paintings. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's a uh, fundament of... It's so true. And you know, it isn't perfect, but that's not what, you know, that's not what I'm about. You know, for me, I don't have, need a perfect rendition of a tablecloth or chair. I, I just want a painting to work. And uh, for me, it, it works. So, I mean, even the vase doesn't even make sense. But I loved it, so I left it. <laughs> Yeah. And this one, of course, just the floor. I mean, far away, yes, yeah. you yeah. see it and you're like, what is the beauty, the colors yeah. are everywhere, but it makes sense. And then when you come up close, it's, a, it's an amazing array of brushwork. And wow. Yeah, yeah. And black, it needed something to just, you know, just quiet the whole thing down. Quite the whole thing down, but I love the black column too. But um, I do florals, I find them therapeutic. So um, I do them often enough. And then you have a kiss, uh, yeah. a kiss here. A kiss. <laughs> it's kind of like an old photograph, a yeah. couple, and then again the floral. Yeah, and what I didn't notice, you know, it was a man and a woman from the photo I was working at. But it looks quite androgynous, which which is a, has its own appeal, you know, but um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that too. It's a painting and a painting. And, and so this, this is a fun one. Yeah, the balloons. I had a series of photos and the balloons and then just letting them go. You know, it's hard actually some ways to let balloons go when they're so perfect. You let them die in your house usually. But to just release them is... Even great. just balloons always symbolize happiness to me and celebrating. Yeah. And so it's yeah. an interesting um, subject matter, especially. Yeah. You know, yeah. Happy piece. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Same with this one. Just, um, you know, just wasn't releasing them yet. But uh, yeah, I love I the pink. And I thought I'm not going to let go of the pink. And so you just kind of have to make it all just work. Together. Yeah. yeah, and these were all painted over, you know, probably a year or more. But, you know, as soon as I knew I was having an exhibition, of course, and I worked harder. And this I love, you know, someone walking their dog. And the original was this little black and white photograph. But I just, you know, just like let it rain. Whatever the day brings, let it bring. I'm going to have a good day. I've got my most bloody, of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and again, but she's in more of a, I guess more of a, well, a landscape again. So, looks like she's on a cliff actually. Yeah, you wonder where she is. Just, just thinking. But I love the way you have the jacket and you just can feel yeah. the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I love this man here. He, I actually took a photo of him. It was, you know, very contemporary gallery. It was actually all white. And the painting started white, but whatever, I kept going. And he was asleep in the corner. It was very contemporary. Long days, these people have to work. And uh, so there he is. Like I he hope he's know. not guarding the Mona Lisa. No. <laughs> no. And so it's kind of nice to have, you know, this is a gallery. You know, and opening the way they used to be, people just there, closer, yeah. hanging around, and uh, 
discussing the words. And, yes. And I love the yellow and the gray with just the hints of the green and blue. Anyway, I was pretty happy with that one too. And um, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yes. So we're done with the tour of the, of the show. What I thought I'd do is just ask you a few questions that I've been wondering, and maybe other people have too, over the years about your art. So first question, obviously you have a style that is all of your own. Um, how did you develop the style? Yeah, how did it come to be this Zeraldo signature? Um, time, I think it's time. So I went to Nazca. I had great instructors and I always liked the idea of drawing and I liked painting and I always liked the idea of if the painting isn't working to go back and redraw it and crudely I'm not talking about a, a little pencil I'm talking about with a, a you know a paintbrush and redo it and the one thing I really learned in art school um, was never to hang on to You've got this painting and about a quarter of an inch of it is actually working. And people would hang on to that quarter of an inch. Well, the great thing was to let it all go and just continue. Sand it down or just keep painting on, on paint. And um, so, yeah, so basically, and I like the idea of paint itself. So, you know, I'll use, I use photographs, but I'm not interested in an exact, Reproduction. So I used Mona. I tried to be faithful. This is the first time I've painted her, so I, I was faithful to her and to Leonardo. But I wasn't about to do his landscape, um, so I just did my little bits of filling in with red. I kept it moody, and her lip and her eyes are totally the red of Zeraldo. Not mine, but it's totally my my. How are you inspired or how do you choose huh. what you paint? Because you never seem to be short of ideas. I'm never short of ideas because I'm always looking and I, I want to see something that captivates me. So if it's comp usually it's composition, uh, often it's black and white photography that captivates me more than painters work. And I work from that and then I often take my own photographs because I have my own ideas. So, you know, I went to a party. If I go anywhere, you're always I'm thinking always about looking. the next party. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even here, I'm thinking, could this composition work? So, yeah. And, you know, and back to the paintings, you know, these two are working simultaneously. Yeah. And one of the, probably the big reasons why I let go of her in the landscape was because this one worked. And if I feel it's too easy, I don't feel like it's... I feel like I'm cheating, yeah. so I go the next step, which may mean that I grew into painting, but okay. yeah, okay, so it's very important. Yeah. And when you start a painting, do you know what, you know, the final product is what you're aiming for, or do you just let it evolve over time, or how do you approach that? Both. Sometimes I really think I know what I want and it isn't working. And so that's when you have to just Go with it. Go with it and do something different. Which is always hard. Be open to the idea of letting go I know. of what you uh, had intended. Exactly. And it's hard. But sometimes you'll go to somewhere better, you know. Yes. And that's what keeps it exciting, I guess, as an artist. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so sometimes I do. I have a total idea and it isn't working, and so I just, you know, we'll go back, redraw it mix up a whole bunch of paint, different color. So you're never afraid to revisit a painting? Um, no, it hurts sometimes, but, but you know, often I, I trash painting, so, you know, there's a point where... You gotta take a risk, all right? I think to get better, you have yes. to be willing to take the risk, yeah. otherwise you don't let the accidents that turn into uh, amazing things happen. Exactly, yeah, right. totally. Yeah. Well, cheers. Yeah, yeah, cheers. It was great. Thank you. Thank you very and much. And we're totally socially distanced. Yes, yes. thanks. Uh, we're we're in case. Um, so yeah, that wraps up our, 
our tour. Um, yeah. I want to thank you very much for having this show here at the gallery. Um, it is really quite beautiful. Um, the gallery is still open Wednesdays and Sundays, so you're welcome to come and view the paintings uh, from 11 to 4. Um, as well as uh, you can make a private appointment with me if you'd like to see, uh, say, at night time or any time, uh, your own private viewing of the work. So I hope everyone is doing well in these COVID times. We get through the second wave, but I can say that as we hunker down in our homes, um, art is really great to have on our walls. It just makes uh, it really makes the room. It makes the room, and yeah, um, yeah they're, they're amazing pieces. I love your work. Thank you. It's great. It's very good. So all paintings are available for purchase on our website at orangeartgallery.ca and we do free shipping in Canada.